What is up guys, welcome back to another Bomb Human video, you already know what's going down. In the last video, we just got in the mech ton, went through the Hypoxia Wasteland, and then did the boss fight. Actually, at the beginning of the video, we did get a new mount, which is a horse mount, which is still confusing to me. But at the end of the video, we did defeat the Jumbo Puff, which was insanely easy. And I'm surprised there's no difficulties in this game. Like, you can't change the difficulty. I think, actually, you did. You did get to choose a difficulty, but I chose the medium one, the one that was in the middle. So in this video, we are going to, hmm, well, it tells us to go over here to out of date, but that's at the middle of the tree, and I don't think I want to go there quite just yet. I'm going to go, oh, there's one right next, okay, we're going to do this one. It says find the no-no, which I don't really know. I think that's the thing that you, like, touch with the tree, like you catch it with the net, put it in the tree, and it grows. I think, I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure. But at the same time, I don't know. Then after that, I think I might just do the Jagney stuff just to get it out the way. Because if we're going to be moving up through the map like this, we might as well get get done with this portion of the map completely. Just to make our lives easier. Oh, I can fast travel all throughout here? Hmm. Interesting. There was probably a freaking fast travel thing over here that I just didn't get. Oh, God. That's going to suck if I ever want to go back there. Hopefully, I do not go back there. But, yeah. So, we are going to go then over to this no-no thing and I can call my mounts y'all can see it again I know y'all seen it at the beginning of the last video but you're in charge of that mount act like it um I still am hella confused like what could this have evolved from to become this horse-like creature unless horses shrunk shrunk it could be like a what are they called I don't even know what they're called are these is this a Jagney outpost right here not like a full-on outpost, but like a small checkpoint. I think it is. I'm just going to ride through here. Resting. Oh, you could... Re oh, okay, nice. Yeah, no, I'm not going to fight them, niggas. <laughs> That's I'm not an intact them, plant hut over there. Wonder There's monsters great. over here? Bro, where's the no-no at? Bro. Bro, where's the no-no? Where's the objective? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Go on, catch it. Okay, then we gotta return to the root. Let me destroy this thing first, though, because this is a thing that should give you. Looks loot. like some solid wood scrap there. Okay, and now we are going to head back to the root. How far is it, though? Is it is it like? <gasps> Holy crap! But we don't take fall damage. I don't know. I haven't fall from a. I haven't fell fallen. Fell fallen from a great height yet. Biohazard makes your skin crawl. That was the largest I've ever fallen. But I was on a horse, so it didn't really count, I guess. We should be able to get over this, right, root nest. Okay, so we have to get over this. So we should be able to just climb it, scale scale it, no? How are we supposed to get over there, then? Let me check the map. Let me check the map. Uh, that is the wrong... The root. Oh, yeah, so we just go around. There's an entrance over here. Okay, which doesn't really make sense. Why didn't they just make it to where you can climb over that anyways if there's an entrance right next to it i don't know i don't know the game's a little weird but it's fine so the root nest is right here in the middle of all this junk and gunk every day is a new chance to fulfill your destiny Um, so it's not gonna grow or what? I thought it was gonna grow, but I guess not. What if I hit it? No. Okay, so what we are gonna do then is um, head over to the outpost. Because it's just right up here, right? So it's really close. Track the quest. And yeah, we'll just do these because there's only two more. And we should be able to get all three. Because there's them then after, I'm assuming, after we get the other two, we should be able to just go here and get this, right? So hopefully we'll be able to get all three of them. And because they usually they usually take like quite a bit like 10 5 to 10 minutes but I can still like cut most of it out anyways right yeah that makes sense so I'm gonna just cut to when I actually get over there because it's gonna be a long ride so yeah I'm gonna just cut though okay so we have made it to the Jagney outpost it's actually up the hill but I'm assuming we're gonna go in from under 
So this is going to be interesting. Says they've been waiting for you to help them liberate the outpost. They've scouted the outpost while they were waiting and suggests you have a look at what they found before entering. Says Scout spotted a moth nest close to the outpost. If you destroy that, the moths should infest the place looking for a new home. That's the idea. If everything works out as planned, the moths should cause a buzzing tumult. Okay. So they want us to destroy the nest and then and then the moth nests moth nests are underground? Oh, that's scary. I don't want to drop down here. There's going to be there's going to be giant spiders or something. Oh no. No, I I do not do insects, bro. What the fudge? Can I just destroy it like this? Just get to it and destroy it. Okay, so there's no actual insects. There's jaggy niggas down here just chilling. I mean, I guess that makes sense. They're gonna defend their stuff because they know there's a weak spot down here. <laughs> oh my god, I just I have the hiccups. What did that say? Oh, I thought I said a missive spider. I was about to quit the game. I was really about to quit the game. I'm not even joking. More enemies. Sterling. Why is there a nigga named Sterling? <laughs> what? Just a random, randomest name, bro. Like, wh why would you name a mini boss after, like, a, a normal name? But, I mean, they named the other one a missive sniper, which I guess the names don't really make sense anyways in the game. Because it's like... These niggas have really weird names anyways, like out of date. And uh, Gizmo is a normal name, for especially for a video game character. Or just a cinematic character Scratch in general. Him. But, um, damn, I knocked that out. Bro, I love this clock fist. It's probably going to be weaker later on, though, once I get better weapons and stuff. Oh, I need the clock fist for this, too. I think I actually use it already. Okay, just punch it. Nice work. Oh, I'm level 10 after just no destroying the moth's nest. The nest? That's easy as math. There go the moths toward the outpost. They're good and mad. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. So, um, I thought that we were gonna, huh, I thought that we were gonna use the moss to weaken the enemies or distract them at least and then invade it. Does that not make sense? Smart to protect your melon. Tribe gear. Is it better than my gear? Because if it's not, I'm taking it off. I don't care. I don't care. He says you did a great job capturing the rival's second outpost. You've earned the privilege of wearing the tribe's colors. All the ghosts are gonna hide. No, you have the tribe's support. Okay. Okay, so let me check my gear. Because they really fitted me up with this whack armor. Okay, so then what I am gonna do. It's just, it's just at the waypoint there, and then I'm gonna cut to when I get over to that place. Right? You have to leave them. Well, good thing I came to the front of the actual outpost then. What is this? What? Can I do this at every outpost? I wonder if there's those things just like chilling everywhere. Probably. To be honest, there probably is. So I think you have to pee on Let's signposts see. to make them fast travelable i think that makes sense so many places to let me call today. my horse what let me call it again oh okay then i'm just gonna probably call it later but i'm gonna cut when i get over to the next outpost which is gonna suck because i don't have a horse but it's fine i'm gonna just cut Urfidurf outpost. 
The Jagni tribe claimed this forever. Just be glad that beastie let you on. What beastie? Is he talking about the, uh, the horse? Because, yeah, I'm very glad. Let's that, see. It was a long journey even, even with the horse, you know what I'm saying? So if I would have done it without the horse, that would have been atrocious, you know what I'm saying? Atrociitis. Wait, am I going to be doing this alone? Oh, that sucks. Whatever, it's fine. There's the tyrant who runs this outpost. Is that the leader of all the Jagni or just... He didn't expect his tribe to lose as they're the ones that are ruthless. But now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. Not sure if you're likable enough to just give up the outpost without a fight. Success chance? Minus one charisma? He just realized a peaceful end to this would be best. He'll trust the outpost to you. Ooh, the what? outpost belongs to your. It was that now. easy. Wait, wait, wait. Did my persuasion? He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Did my persuasion? Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Did <laughs> did my persuasion? Um, what am I trying to? Say? I totally forgot I was gonna say. Oh, did my persuasion skill go up? Is it like Skyrim in that sense? That when you do something more, you get your skills up? I hope, because that makes the game a lot more fun. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. They all hope you can lead them to peace. See, we didn't have to, we didn't have to fight in this one. That's how, that's how you know how peaceful we are. So, uh, what is that thing? What is that thing? Come back here! That's like an ugly cat. Like a very menacing cat, in fact. Jeez. Okay, so what we're, what we're gonna have to do is fast travel back somewhere over here. Probably this one. It's probably the closest. It's between this one and the old village, but I think the old village is just... Yeah, it's just, it goes up here, and then we go around. I think it'd be easier to just go here, and then ride up the uh, highway. Or will it? Yeah, it should. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna just cut those whenever we get over to the Jaggy tribe, and do the final battle. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war, or part of the problem. There are a hell of a lot of freaking myriad tribe niggas here. Can I kill it? Can I kill my horse though? No, yeah. That's kind of lame. They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. What is their defense? The scouts have reported activity nearby that's worth looking into before you enter the fort. They've positioned a storm tower near the fort that you'll use to get over the wall. However, you need to prop up its wheelhouse first to stabilize the situation. They've built the storm tower to protect and get you over the walls of the fortification while keeping an element of surprise. Okay, so it's like a siege tower. All the way over freaking there? You know what? It's fine. We have a horse. And this nigga can survive drastically insane falls like that one. I don't know why he thrusted so hard off the ground, though, when I try to jump. You can't even jump over these things? That's kind of sucky. I where we can get some ride shoes for the mount. Can we get ride shoes? What are those? Nah, nah, nah. That was so scary, bro. I just seen them niggas in the bushes just curl up and freaking roll straight at me like a roly-poly. Heck no, bro. Heck no. Oh, this is too easy. Look at these niggas. And I'm, I can't even see what's going on. So I kind of screwed myself right there. Also, something I don't realize. I mean, I don't understand. Is how are the... How is everything so small? If these are supposed to be animals. Like, if these are supposed to be animals, why is that human vehicle right there... Why is it the size of a got more animal than a vehicle? Flesh wound. You know? Unless the what's it called corporation Toxinol 
were animals too, right? Is that possible? Is that what they're? Is that what they're? Is that what we're trying to get at? Like, look, this nigga can almost fit in there. He's like a kid, the size of a kid. I think they just mutated to be larger, but at the same time, these niggas would be insanely massive. That'd be a massive. Mu I mean, I guess there's a lot of massive mutations actually going on around here, so that wouldn't be too crazy. I see. I oh, know. I see. I get it. I get it. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna just cut to when I get back, though. Okay, so we have made it back, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna start the uh, thing left. It's what? time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their Sifu. Uh, is it really freedom? Sifu? Damage? You need to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life to truly become free. Okay, nice. So inflict as little damage. Can we just run by these niggas then? No, we have to. Def we have to defeat them. Okay, nice. And the tribe just means like the citizens of the tribe, not necessarily the warriors. I see. Where am I? Okay, so I'm all alone right here. Even though there were like hella niggas that came off that siege tower. Right? They must all be dead already or something. Bro. Something crazy. Cause there's no way. There's no way that they. What? I don't understand, bro. I don't understand what could have happened to where there's only me when all the niggas came out the sea star with me though. Like I didn't see that. The game's just a little sus, bro. To be honest, at this point, I think the, the teleporting ability would have been way better. Specifically because like I thought the fire lingering would do more damage, but it does not. Like, the only thing that um the fire does is the it like as soon as you hit them with the roll attack, it'll set them on fire. And that's it. That's it. That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. Should I do that? What did they tell me to inflict as little? You just need to create a spark to light a fire. Huh. They said inflict as little damage as possible. What is going on here? It burns brighter than the light. Easy, easy. Oh, I thought I got to fall through the freaking rubble and get clapped. Well, not, I know it was going to get clapped this game. But... That's a pyro sizzler right there. Yeah, pyro sizzler. This is a Chinese attack biscuit. So they want me to destroy... Okay, I'll destroy this one. Just get to work on it. Make it frizzle. I'll have to destroy all of them. That's kind of weird. I, thought we're just, I still don't understand. I thought we were supposed to destroy as little as possible. Like, what? Nice crackle. Battering bonker. Nice crackle. You, you're perfectly correct. thought I had a double jump. Why didn't it let me double jump before I hit the ground? It's kind of lame. But you know, it's fine. Can I break it through here? It's There's not even a contest. Let me actually put points in. Um, I'm going to put luck in. That's because an improvement. I'm in, I've been putting everything in the shrink, then I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I might as well try to get some better loot. Yes? Yes. Now it's going to be a boss. The bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. How did they get that all the way through the fort and up the stairs? Okay, okay, game. Okay. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. There's a reason that... In, in medieval history, they only used these battering rams at massive gates. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. This nigga's an idiot, that's why. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. Bet. He needs a logical reason to surrender the fort without a fight. He recognizes the strength of a good argument and agrees it's for the best. He'll surrender the fort to you. Are you kidding me? Was it really that easy? Bruh. 
The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Your Sifu is pleased. You're one step closer to uniting the tribes. It's a pity you needed to use force to get the point across. But he's still concerned about the fate of the world. What? Believes the war you wage is based on the principle that if you win, the end will justify the means. He says you've grown so much stronger than when you first met. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. That little voice inside that lets you know right from wrong. Don't go against it if you want to enjoy life without fear of death. Um, wow. Oh, claim the tribe weapon? Is that the jack? So it's a staff. Oh, bet. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably use a staff for the rest of the game, to be honest. It's I love, the Jagni staff. I love staffs in video games. The Jagni staff. Nice. Heroes inspire in a way nothing else can. New Wong Fu. Let me look at this, actually, because I, I have, um... Let me equip the thing. Let me equip the thing, because... It'll make it easier to... Oh, it's a legend... Wait, is it legendary? Is that what the orange means? I think that is what the orange means. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. What about... What the fudge? All right, bro. I'm about to be using this weapon for the rest of time. Wait, what happens if I talk to him? He knows things that you need to know. I need to do... What? Oh, he's talking about the outpost. Says you okay, okay. Say to go. Okay, okay, okay. So let me actually uh, handle this. Why is there a light here? Oh, it's because I'm in this dark room. Let me actually leave the building because I don't want to freaking see that dark, I mean that bright light when I'm trying to end the video. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to end the video here, obviously. But um, I liked it. I liked the video a lot. I kind of didn't like the fact that the outposts were so easy to grab, though. Like, you literally just... Well, the second one, I mean, the first one that we did in this video, the first outpost we did, it kind of, it was fun. It was fun because we killed a lot of enemies, right? And then we took over the outpost instantly, which kind of was weird to me because the first outpost took a while, took like 10 minutes. These outposts took like five each. And this, this outpost though, the last outpost we just did just now, we, we did fight quite the bit of enemies, quite the bit, quite the bit of enemies. So that, that I like that. But um, the third outpost, the second outpost, the third outpost of the game, but the second outpost that we completed in this video was atrocious. I hated it because all we had to do, what do we have to do? I don't even remember. I know we, we persuaded that nigga and then it was just over like that. It was instantly over and we didn't get any type of reward for it. Like it was just, there was risk, but there was no reward, you know, I don't, I don't know, bro. It just felt really unfulfilling. They should make it to where your your stats go up if you are successfully persuade the nigga. But if you don't, obviously the stats go down, which is already how it's it how, how it is how it's supposed to work. Yes, yes. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna end the video here. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all already know what's going down, and I will see y'all in the next one. 
Peace.